what we found was that a lot of the small glaciers, they're simply not large enough and they're in locations that do not allow them to survive these increases in temperature. And that's why we see a lot of the mass loss by number, uh, those very large percentages of about 50 to 80 percent. There are already a lot of communities that are experiencing high tide flooding, even nuisance sunny day flooding, as well as more extreme events when we have storm surges coming through. And so when you're raising the baseline by about 10 centimeters, it's only going to amplify those events. I think it's very easy to think that the glaciers are lost. They're being lost in response to climate change and there's nothing that we can do about it. And 50% loss is considerable. Losing 25% of the total glacier mass is a lot, but it's a lot less than 40%. And so when we think about the differences and where current climate pledges are and where how much glacier ice we can save if we are able to reduce our temperature increase in the future. That's really what we want to focus on is that even though it might seem like we're already losing a lot, we have the ability to, to make an impact as well. Mm -hmm.